Hey everyone, good evening. Uh, welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday in Easter 3. Um, we're here to uh, pray evening prayer together. I'm here with Father Greg and Will and Tamina. Um, we will, uh, if you've got your prayer book, your book of common prayer at home, we'll be calling out page numbers as we go to guide you um, and your hymnal. And if you don't have those with you, you can use, um, you can use an app to pray. Uh, Forward Movement uh, has a great option. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just call it out and guide you as we go. So let's take just a moment to gather ourselves. And we'll begin on page 117. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let's sing together number hymn, uh, hymn number 25, O Gracious Light. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 119, a section of Psalm 119, and we'll do verses 25 through 48, which you can find on page 765 in your prayer book. Starting on page 765, Psalm 119, verses 25 through 48. Uh, and Father Greg and I will uh, read this antiphonally and feel free to join in however you like. My soul cleaves to the dust. Give me life according to your word. I have confessed my ways, and you answered me. Instruct me in your statutes. Make me understand the way of your commandments, that I may meditate on your marvelous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Take from me the way of lying. Let me find grace through your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set your judgments before me. I hold fast to your decrees. O Lord, let me not be put to shame. I will run the way of your commandments, for you have set my heart at liberty. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall keep it with all my heart. Make me go in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. Incline my heart to your decrees, and not to unjust gain. Turn my eyes from watching what is worthless, and give me life in your ways. Fulfill your promise to your servant, which you make to those who fear you. Turn away the reproach which I dread, 
because your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your commandments. In your righteousness, preserve my life. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have a word for those who taunt me, because I trust in your words. Do not take the word of truth out of my mouth, for my hope is in your judgments. I shall continue to keep your law. I shall keep it forever and ever. I will walk at liberty because I study your commandments. I will tell of your decrees before kings and will not be ashamed. I delight in your commandments, which I have always loved. I will lift up my hands to your commandments and I will meditate on your statutes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And the voice from heaven said, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Here ends the reading. We'll continue with our canticle, uh, the Magnificat, the Song of Mary, which you can read along with us on page 119 in your prayer book. And we'll, we'll pray it in unison. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We'll continue uh, together with saying the Apostles' Creed uh, on the next page, on page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We'll continue on page 122. Uh, with suffrages be and will and I will pray this responsively but feel free to join in with will on the on the response that this evening may be holy good and peaceful we entreat you O Lord that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill we entreat you O Lord that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Now we'll pray our three collects, which you don't have to find. Uh, you can just pray along with us. O oh God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith, that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We we'll pray a call it for protection. O oh God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And then this prayer for mission. O oh God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's sing a hymn. How about uh, 662, Abide With Me, if you have a hymnal at home. Let's try just verses 1, 2, and 4. Darkness deepens, Lord, with 
cloud and sunshine, Lord, abide with me. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and appoint me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and earth's faint shadows flee. In life, in death, O oh Lord, abide. Amen. We'll continue uh, with these uh, questions for reflection and for, uh, for sort of personal devotion and prayer from St. Augustine's prayer book to help us pray through the day that's passed. With trust in God's mercy, review your actions and words in the day that is ending. Remember the encounters you had with other people. Did you use your time wisely, working diligently and honestly? Have you maintained healthy habits and received God's gifts with gratitude? In your dealings with others, were you honest and kind. Where were you most aware of God's presence? And what particular blessings did you receive? What actions or failures to act need forgiveness? Are there things you need to do differently tomorrow? I invite your prayers of thanksgiving or intercession right now, silently or spoken. Give thanks for the baptism anniversaries of Amy Weisbecker and Jackson Gibbs, and for the wedding anniversary of Jen and Thad Thompson. Pray for Richard and Jeff, Polly and Gail, Neil, Sam, and James, Warren, Ernie, Laura, Cindy, and Greta. Howard and Janine and Don, Elistine and Mary Beth, Brian, Gloria, Cynthia, Nancy, and Matthew. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We'll close out our office this evening with the general thanksgiving found on page 125 in your prayer book. We'll pray it together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies 
that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thanks everyone for praying with us. It is uh, good, to, good to pray with you, good to be with you. Um, and remember to join us for morning prayer on Facebook Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Take care.